Welcome to Outlaw Edge. So today's video is sponsored by Evolution, Evolution Tools, and I want to thank them for sending me uh, all these goodies today. If you guys haven't checked out Evolution Tools, you definitely got to go to uh, evolutionpowertools.com. Check out their website. Check out their tools. They have amazing stuff. Uh, last year or maybe two years ago, they sent me another saw, and I've been using the heck out of it. And... Uh, you know, it's been amazing. So they reached out to us and asked if we wanted to try the new one. And this is the uh, S355 MCS. This one's amazing. And this is the uh, miter saw. So you can, you know, not only just make a straight cut, but you can put it in all kinds of different angles and whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing out of the box and I'll show you what we got. Wow, this thing is amazing. Look at the size of this saw. It's huge. No wonder the box was so heavy. Wow. And the way this, the machining and the way this thing is built all out of aluminum and you have your, uh, all your different angles right here. Yeah, I can't wait to get this out of the box and check it out. Yeah, this thing is built very well. Really nice. This is nice and light, this aluminum here, all billet aluminum. The machining and everything on this is absolutely top notch. And this is a, uh, appears to be like cast aluminum here on the bottom. And then you have your, your adjustment for your, all your angles. And right now it's set at 15, but you just loosen this, push this down, and then you can turn this, and it's smooth as silk. This is moving around because there's no weight on it right now. But you have a tool here, the Allen wrench, and it's got both sizes on it. One here, and then it's got the other size here. It's got the nice holder. And I was looking at the instructions, something that I want to show is uh, if you're doing round rod, obviously this is marked to green here. This is where you're going to be cutting the round rod. And if you're doing angle, you're going to want this, uh, this stop right at the angle, if that makes sense. And then here, if you're doing a, uh, this would be a rectangle. The stop would be back here in front of the blade. And you know, it says there's a bunch of X's and I was trying to figure out what this meant. So that's, that's pretty easy to figure out. But I'm gonna go ahead and get the instruction book open up. I'll get this thing put together and we'll see what we got. So you can see here that the front part of the saw is here, and then you have the part that comes down and cuts with your blade here. And I'll zoom in a little bit better, that way you guys can see what I'm doing and how easy this goes together. So you have your trigger mechanism here. You have two holes. These two holes here line up right here and they have roller ball bearings inside of them. Really nice. And you simply put it on like that and then you have your stop in the back that you're gonna pull. You're gonna pull the little release up and let go of it and it's gonna lock. That way this will stay in one spot. But you can see this is roller bearing. I mean. This, they skimped on nothing on these tools. So these things are built really nice. And then right there, I just pulled the lock out. This is your locking mechanism. Hopefully you can see that on camera. And that's, uh, that you leave out, you know, you got your lock. You pull it, move it back and forth to the next one and then it locks. So really nice setup. And then it has the automatic It's like my other saw they sent me, this uh, guard here, 
so you don't get your fingers in it when you're pulling the trigger. When you pull this down, this guard automatically uh, goes up. So really nice. Something that I thought was really cool on this saw also is, you know, usually you have your mounting points here where you can drop bolts through, put them to a table, but you also have, a lot of people use Bessie clamps and they're usually 5 8 which happen to be the same size as this shaft here that you could drop in, tighten this up here to hold this down. And then not only that, but when you're get, getting ready to cut, you have two of these. You have one here and here that slides back and forth. And you got the, these are like a quick disconnect for the threads. Throw this down and then you can tighten this up. And that, that thing is really tight. Loosen this up, flip that back up. And it's a, just a quick release is all it is. Really nice. And then if you want to take them off, if they're in your way, it's almost like a machinist T-bolt, you know, it just pushes on and pulls off. Super easy, super fast. But you have your 5 8 Bessie clamps. If you need something else that you wanted to mount on here, you have a bunch of these on there on the machine that you could drop in, use these Bessie clamps. Obviously mine are made out of bolts. Those are not gonna work, but I could, you know, machine these down or cut them down, grind them down, whatever, so that they slide behind there in the back. I think these front ones are a little bit different. Yeah, the front ones are a different size, but it's nice that these are 5 eighths where I can mod my clamps to work with this, you know, so I can use, uh, you know, mount other things on here if I need to when I'm cutting, which is really nice. And then uh, just for uh, demonstration purposes, I'm gonna vice grip this to the table real quick. That way I can uh, show you how this part works. And then here, you wanna cut a quick angle. You literally just pull this back and you got this button here. And it locks in wherever you want. Like if you want it at a 45, that's it, it locks right there. Everyone has a notch, so you can go 45, 30, you know, your main increments on your uh, measurements. And now I'm ready to cut a 45 over here, or say if I want to cut a 15, push that button and bring it over to a 15 and drop it in. Quick and easy. But yeah, thank you Evolution Tools. This thing is amazing. I'm not gonna do no cuts with it right now. Uh, I want to build a table for this so that I could uh, have this portable in my shop so I can have this one and my other one. And then also my Evolution uh, mag drill that they sent me. I'll keep all that same stuff on the table so that uh, it's all quick and accessible and easy to use. And it'll be like a you know nice setup for the, for the other welding table. And the nice part is I made my other welding table so it's exactly like right here. So I can bring this stuff up. And since it's heavy, you don't have to lift it. Whatever, you just unbolt it or whatever you got to do and slide it onto this table if I need to and use my jig holes to mount this thing to this table if I need to. But anyways, Evolution Tools, thank you so much. And I'll go ahead and do a quick uh, video, you know, uh, or I'm sorry, some pictures at the end of this video so I can uh, show you what it looks like or whatever. Yeah, if you guys, uh, you know, go to Evolution Tools, check them out. They have uh, the blades for thin steel, stainless steel. Hopefully you can pick that up in my camera. Aluminum. And then they have also steel, like thick steel. But uh, yeah, they hooked me up. You guys have a good day.